Hello Parents. So today we're going to set up your Aries Parent Student Portal. This is the place where you'll go to be able to check on your student's attendance, to check your student's grades as they come in. So the first thing we're going to do is go either to the Simi Valley Unified School District homepage or your child's school homepage and you're going to look for a button that says Aries Parent Student Portal. You're going to find that button and you're going to click that. And that's going to take you to the Aries login page. Since you don't have an account yet, we need to create a new account. So click Create New Account. Once you've clicked that, you're going to make sure it says Parent because you're a parent. And you're going to click Next. Then you're going to choose your email address. This needs to be the address that you check frequently. It needs to be one that you can get your email at quickly as you're going to need that right away. So you're going to enter in uh, your email address. You're going to enter that in twice. And then you're going to enter a password. This password needs to have capital letters, small letters, and numbers, and be one that you're going to remember easily. And then you're going to click Next. After you click Next, you're going to get an email from svusdparents at simuvalleyusd.org. If you don't get this quickly, it might have been spammed. If you have a strict spam filter, you might want to add svusdparents.simuvalleyusd.org to your spam exceptions file, and that will allow it through. So I'm going to click Next. The next thing that I have to do is I actually have to go to my mail. So I'm going to open my mail and I'm going to look for an email from SVUSD Parents. Here it is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Confirm This Email. It's going to bring me back to Aries. Yeah. And then I'm going to click Return to Login Page. It's going to take me back to that login page and now I'm going to log in. You're going to use the email that you gave it earlier and the password that you gave it earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and log in now. And then I'm going to put in the password. And I'm going to log in. Now, I'm logged in. I'm now in the system. Now what you need to do once you get in the system is you need to actually add your child. So your school would have sent home a paper that has the teacher's name, the student name, the permanent ID number, the phone number, and something called the verification code. You're going to need those three things to be able to log your student into the system and track your student. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to put in your student's permanent ID number. Then you're going to put in the student home telephone number. This needs to be area code and then the seven digits all in one string as a ten digit number with no spaces and no symbols. Then you need to add that long verification code. Um, you need to turn on your caps lock and use both the letters and the numbers. click next. Information does not match. Okay, so I made a mistake. Oh, and I made one letter mistake here. And then it's going to ask you, are you one of the people on the emergency contact? If you are, click yourself. If not, click none of the above. And then click next. And then you're finished.